Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get our June 2024 Patch Tuesday update rolling out for Windows 11, versions 22H2 and Windows 11 23H2. And for this month, the update is KB5039212. And this update rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 11th of June. Now, first of all, um, the key highlight for this update, according to Microsoft, is that the update addresses a known issue that affects the taskbar. And I actually posted on this uh, because it was an official known issue a couple of days ago. And I'll leave that video in the end screen. And what the problem was is that, um, according to Microsoft, your taskbar might briefly glitch or not respond, and it might also disappear and reappear. So apparently, the highlight for this update is that it addresses that taskbar issue. So if you were experiencing that, make sure you get this update sooner than later. Now, obviously, um, this is a security update. So it will include security fixes for Windows 11. And for Windows 11, we get 28 vulnerabilities that have been patched. That's one more than Windows 10. And one of those is a critical vulnerability, which is your highest rated vulnerability. So this is an important security update. And that critical vulnerability is exactly the same as Windows 10, Microsoft message queuing remote code execution vulnerability. So that means a hacker or an attacker can gain access to your system uh, remotely over the internet or over a network as an example. So 28 vulnerabilities have been patched and fixed. One of those is critical, so an important security update that is rolling out. Now, the security update also includes improvements that were part of this update. KB5037853 that rolled out near the end of May, which was the optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11. And this update included a good couple of new features and bug fixes and so on. And I posted a whole video on KB5037853. And that will be linked in the end screen and will also be down in the description. But just a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, uh, just to highlight some of the new features because there were plenty new features. And uh, um, the, the big one with this, I think, is that it restores the address bar drag and drop which was a feature that Microsoft um, removed in the File Explorer with Windows 11. And due to a lot of negative feedback, um, and obviously users complaining, including myself, Microsoft has now decided to uh, restore address bar, drag and drop. So as an example, it's also called breadcrumbs. So there we go. We can move into another folder. And there we go. We can drag and drop now with the address bar in File Explorer, which I think it has been a long time coming, and that's going to make a lot of users happy um, on Windows 11. And then another one is that it adds uh, the PC Manager to devices in China by default, which is, is an indication that Microsoft, Microsoft may be thinking of bringing PC Manager uh, into the OS by default as a default app. Um, there are four Windows Share new features, a lot going on with Windows Share, so go check that video out. Um, it adds a page to settings accounts called linked devices. So if we head back into our settings, head to your accounts, and if you scroll down, you should see a new linked devices. So it says find, repair, and manage devices that are signed in with your Microsoft account. And there we go. And it says here at the top, linked devices include PCs and Xbox consoles that you sign into with your Microsoft account and he has my one laptop and he has my other laptop so whatever devices you have linked will appear on this page under linked devices which is a new feature uh, if you didn't install that optional update near the end of May which has now made its way into our patch Tuesday update it also starts the rollout of the new account manager on the start menu now um, this will only appear when you are signing into your device so um, some would consider this to be ads. Microsoft um, calls it an account manager. But nonetheless, that should appear when you sign in using your Microsoft account on the start menu. You can also now back up um, many of your sound settings. It also starts the rollout of an add now button to settings accounts. You can sign into your Microsoft account in the Windows backup app. And it also addresses a known issue that affects your account profile picture 
and includes plenty more fixes. So as mentioned, there's a lot of info in that video. It was an 11 minute long video. So go check that out if you would like some more information regarding what um, KB5037853 brought to the table. Now, um, our update for this month, uh, KB, as mentioned, our update for this monthly patch Tuesday update, KB5039212. Although it's a security update, it also brings some bug fixes that are uh, important to mention for the purpose of this video. Now, first of all, we get two rsas.exe fixes where the update addresses an issue that affects rsas.exe. Apparently, it stopped responding, was the one. And the other one was it leaks memory. So those are two important fixes that have rolled out. And the update also addresses an issue that might stop your system from resuming from Hibernate. Apparently, this occurs after you turn on BitLocker. And that's also been a known issue. So that's another known issue. So already we have three known issues that have already, that have already been patched with KB5039212. And here we go, another one. So we got four now. The update addresses a known issue that might affect the installation process. You might get an error when you restart the system. Also, the device might roll back to the previous update. This mainly occurs on Windows, virtual machines, parallels, desktop. They run on ARM-based Mac devices. So that's four known issues, give or take, that have been addressed with our June Patch Tuesday update KB5039212. So a lot going on with this update. Plenty new features. Go check that other video out. And a lot of bug fixes and four um, known issues have been addressed with our update this month. Now, um, because the update uh, is automatic, unless you decide to pause the update before it rolls out, if we head over to Winver, just to give you our latest builds, if you're running Windows 11 version 23H2, the OS build is now sitting on 2261.3737 after the update has been applied. And if you're still running version uh, 20. 2H2, that will be 2261.3737. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.